you're opting for an affordable storage device with a user-friendly and workable environment that handles the right resources for your small office or home, this might be the right place for you. Mabuhay Manila Dis, I should all from manilashaker.com and Synology announced their latest OS, the Disk Station Manager or DSM 7.0. If you're new to the backup world and who's starting to adapt to a more secure system, this video will tell you the simplest details. But first, allow us to introduce the Synology DS220+. Plus. The NAS Synology DS220 Plus is a 2-bay disk station storage device connected to a secured home or office network and offers data ownership, recovery, and even cloud-level accessibility around the globe. It is the successor of this station DS218 Plus with the same architecture but better hardware capability inside. It still has the same front plastic cover, the exact layout of LED status lights, and the same port locations. You can put two hard drives for easy backup, whether you will use the two hard drives to access more storage or use the first bay for storage and second bay for backup. It is entirely up to you. It is cost effective and will surely pay back for a lifetime versus the recurring subscription cloud fees increasing from time to time. Now under the head, it is powered by a dual-core Intel Celeron G4025 CPU with a hot swap feature and up to 108TB single volume size capacity. And finally, it runs on a disk station manager OS that can be accessed using a web GUI. Now comes the latest and official DSM 7.0, we already have the updated OS out of the box and all features and accessibility are inside the newest DSM 7.0. Upon setting up our disk station, it will prompt you to create a username and password. Next, if you already have a Synology account, you have the privilege to access the device remotely using Quick Connect. It will allow you to control the device all over the globe and in fact, at the time of this video, I am currently working from home and away from our Synology DS220 Plus review unit. But I can tell that I still have seamless access. This feature is also available to the lower version of DSMs. Now for the features of this OS, the first overall improvement of the DSM 7.0 was the massive upgrade to its GUI. It has a better, modern look and a refresher on its icons and layouts. It comes with a livelier default wallpaper compared to the solid blue background in the previous versions. And it gave us a user-friendly interface with the new and clean login screen as well. The new and combined application was optimized, clean, and made simpler. For example, they combined their current sought-after photo apps and they made it an easy-to-use photo management tool, the Synology Photos. Storage Manager also received a refreshed look as well but the great overhaul is how you can now easily see what's going on to your drives in the overview. The information is much clearer and concise and one feature that is very useful indeed in the Storage Manager is the ability to automatically replace a drive when it shows a critical or failing status and it is a great feature to reduce the downtime of our central backup system. Active Insight on the other hand gives you a clever graphical interface which is very useful when used as a 24-7 monitoring service. It reports a summary of information to monitor the status of the Synology NAS devices. This will help you or your IT team to detect the problem quickly without giving you a headache. Lastly is the improved security. With more fundamental features that are cleaned and optimized, what's more important is the security you must have in your accounts and devices. The latest DSM 7.0 now gives two-factor verification that works on an individual account or a user group. It's not entirely new on the system, however it was improved and more secure than before. It offers passwordless authentication with username and two-factor authentication only. Or you can option for a user password and a second factor as well. Any of these settings will still give the layer of protection you need. Overall, the setup is for budget starters who want a secured and fast ecosystem for improving workplace. The two perfectly fit together to operate as a one simple solution for homes and small offices. This is why NAS Synology DS220 Plus is the perfect fit with price over value offering while DSM 7.0 is the ideal OS. It has a simple and easy as pie operation with improved system security and design. It is pretty stable and I experience a little with no bugs. The DSM 7.0 truly is innovative and the best in business thanks to the better, reliable features, intuitive UI, and secured and steady security for all. 
On the other hand, the current price for the National GDS220 Plus is around 19,699 pesos in Synology Lazada official store. And you can also find it in other physical store as well. It is small yet secured with just what the needed specs for minor operations. And that's a short video talking about the features of the new DSM 7.0 running on the DS220 Plus. What are your thoughts about it? Let us know in the comment section below. This ends our review. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and visit manilashaker.com for more tech news reviews and comparison of the latest device. Mabuhay Manila!